FBI Assistant Director says upcoming Inspector General's report is pure dynamite by Tyler Durden for ZeroHedge.com. Former FBI Assistant Director Chris Swecker said today that a highly anticipated report from the DOJ's Inspector General Michael Horowitz will contain some pure TNT. Horowitz has been investigating the conduct of the FBI's top brass surrounding the 2016 election for over a year. He also uncovered over 50,000 text messages between two anti-Trump, pro-Clinton FBI employees directly involved in the exoneration of, of Clinton and the counterintelligence operation launched against the Trump campaign. Uh, Swecker, the behavior, if it's manifested in the action with your thumbs on the scale of a particular investigation, one way or another, that's uh, borderline uh, criminal uh, uh, behavior. Manipulating an investigation, I think this IG report is going to be particularly impactful, more so than any of these unle uh, useless congressional investigations. I think you're going to see uh, some pure TNT come out uh, in this IG report. Let's take a quick listen. I first want to start with your own words about how, what bar is for an agent. Well, it is high. Uh, one thing that an agent can't do is lie or leak. They have to be witnesses on the witness stand. And if you've had a sustained uh, disciplinary action involving lying, I don't like the word misleading, but in this case, I think what they're talking about is lying. Hmm. Then you're worthless as a witness, and really, when you start charging people with lying to the FBI, that being Papadopoulos and uh, Lieutenant General Flynn, then you can't be uh, lying yourself. So I'm going I'm to base my comments on the premise that the Inspector General has, has, has truly recommended his firing for that reason. You know this agency so well. How surprised were you to see the evidence now in text messages and other places that there was bias against the current president inside the agency? I'm, I'm shocked that they were texting back and forth and that there's records of communications of that nature. Um, I mean, we know that agents vote. Agents have political leanings one way or the other. But if you can't leave that at home, you need to be in another line of work. And I think I and many other retired agents and current agents deeply resent that type of behavior that then reflects on the rest of the FBI, because that's not how the FBI operates. Well, and I guess the big question is the direct line, if there is one, between um, a person's bias and their behavior on the job. And what do you say about that in this context of, and, and nobody has called it lying with legal experts, they call it deception, but you have something else to say. Yeah, the, the behavior, if it's manifested in the action with your thumb on the scale of a particular investigation, one way or the other, then that, I mean, that, that's borderline criminal behavior, manipulating an investigation. I think, I think the, this IG report is going to be particularly impactful, hmm. more so than any of these useless congressional investigations. I think you're going to see some pure TNT come out in this, in this IG report. Wow. Uh, you know, I want to ask you about accountability. And, you know, you could kind of say this about all of government. We all kind of wait perch to see what's going to happen when people do things they shouldn't do, and then, like, there's no fireworks, there's nothing. Do you think it should be, and how should it be carried out in terms of being different at the FBI? Well, of course it should be different. You're held to a different standard. Everything you, sh you do should be uh, truthful, straightforward, not misleading, avoid even the perception of conflicts of interest. And FBI agents know what a conflict of interest looks like. We deal with that every day. Mm -hmm. And especially at the top levels of the FBI, the executive ranks of the FBI, they're setting the example for the street agents out there. And I'm telling you, in my tenure in the FBI in the 25 years, um, I saw many street agents fired for lying during an investigation really? of a relatively minor infraction. So, and the deputy director makes those decisions often. So it would be, from what you're saying, maybe not even enough to fire Andrew McKay before his pension kicks in. I mean, if you've seen others fired for less than this, uh, what do you think about accountability for this specific case? Well, if, I'm going to underscore if, mm -hmm. the inspector general has facts that support 
the, the premise that he lied, then it, it should be a firing offense because it is a firing offense almost 100% of the time with lower level street agents and, and you know, agents in general. And, and this is the top of the FBI. And now, now, McCabe will never have to testify in court, but an agent that lies is worthless in court. It's a, if it's in their background, it's called Giglio material. It has to be disclosed to the defense. So, you know, that example has to be set at the highest levels of the FBI. Did you ever see bias inside that agency when you were there for more than two decades? I did not. I know that's going to sound like I'm being naive, but during the course of my 24-plus uh, years in the FBI, I did not see people. Politics never came into play. Now, we hmm. saw politics at the attorney general level, but under directors um, Mueller, Free, Webster, even Director Sessions, who had his problems, I never saw one, one slightest indication that politics was coming into play. In fact, we fought that really hard. We pushed back very hard on anything that we thought was political influence. Well, you're already guessing what the criticism will be, that maybe you didn't see it or you are being naive. Your critics will say that. Uh, so you led with that. Real quickly, um, so McCabe is set to retire on Sunday. We now have learned that uh, the DOJ has up until tomorrow, beyond a 5 o'clock deadline today, in order to process all the paperwork that would block uh, his pension. Your final thoughts on a man puts in those decades of time, he gets fired before Sunday. Is that a one-on-one -on -one match with what he's done to wipe away his pension? Well, first, wiping out a pension is a big deal for someone who spent two, two decades plus mm -hmm. Um, by all accounts, rendering good service to the FBI. I think the trouble began when he got to the seventh floor and forgot the fact that the rules apply to him, even mm -hmm. though he's at that top executive level. And, you know, honestly, uh, we don't want to see this happen to any agent. This is terrible. But, it, but you do need to see a visible deterrent and, and parity with what goes on at the, at the working level within the FBI. Uh, um, yeah. You see the seventh floor, they mentioned the deep state there, you see. Um, but I, I disagree uh, in the sense that they didn't know the corruption. Nobody wants to talk about it because they don't want to be implicated. But uh, they knew there was corruption there, and that's why he can't come out and say it because he's afraid, and so are the rest of the people. But as soon as the uh, swamp starts draining, so to speak, uh, a lot more is going to come out, which I believe it is going to be pure uh, TNT, so to speak. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.